How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to this Roving Elves quest guide. Uh, so because this is the first quest guide I've ever made on this channel, I kind of wanted to talk about what this guide is going to be like. Uh, so pretty much it's designed for someone who absolutely hates questing and doesn't care about the lore, doesn't care about the chat, and basically just wants to get the quest done, wants to figure out who, who they need to talk to, what they need to do to complete the quest, uh, sort of as a step-by-step -step process and as simply as possible. Uh, so that's what this guide is for. And that being said, welcome to it. Hopefully uh, this is effective. Let me know if you guys would like me to change anything for my future guides. I'm going to be doing all the quests from Roving Elves all the way up to the Elf City because I know a lot of people are trying to do them and having trouble and would like to do them more effectively. So yeah, that is happening. Uh, so, that being said, into the Roving Elves quest. Uh, for the Roving Elves quest, you need to have completed the Regicide quest and all the ones in front of that, which are Waterfall, Underground Pass, Biohazard, and Plague City. Uh, so yeah, make sure to have those done. The only required stat is level 56 agility, and you can actually boost that, uh, and that's just to sort of navigate the elven forest, but I'm assuming you already have that if you've done the regicide quest. Uh, and yeah, the items required, you need the key to the waterfall dungeon, uh, that you can actually get during the quest, but you pick that up inside the waterfall dungeon. Uh, you need a rope, you need Galerial's pebble and Galerial's amulet, uh, which uh, if you don't have these, I would try and get these before the quest starts. Uh, just do a little wiki search, and they're, they're both from the waterfall quest. Uh, now, what's recommended? Uh, you might want a little bit of food, but it's no biggie. Um, some agility boosting potions or flasks, things like that, are not a bad idea. Uh, some teleports. Uh, Anti-poison is a really good thing to have. Uh, and then something that I would absolutely say you should bring is if you can afford a godsword or you can wield a godsword, bring one, and basically what you can do is dismantle it. Uh, because the boss fight for this quest, what you need to do is you basically need to kill a level 61 moss giant, uh, but you're not allowed any weapons or armor or anything. Uh, but what you can do is you can smuggle in a god sword by basically dismantling it and then building it inside of the boss area, and you can basically one-hit the boss. Uh, so yeah, I'd recommend doing that. just saves a little time. Uh, yeah, that being said, hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's jump right in. Okay, so the first part of this quest is started off by talking to Iselwyn, and uh, several times during this guide I'm going to say return to Iselwyn, you're going to do it this way. So basically you go to the Tearwind Lodestone, you go by the two traps just as I've done right here, there's trap number two, and then you just run south straight up into a little clearing. Uh, now, quick note, you might show up at that clearing and be like, wait, what the heck? They're not there. Uh, they actually hop between two different clearings every five minutes, so what I'd recommend doing is just hopping worlds if you don't see them until you find a world where they are in the current clearing that you are at. Uh, that's the best way to do it. So anytime I say return to Isolin, uh, that's that's what you do. Okay, so first off, you're going to talk to Isolin, uh, and then after you've gone through all the chat options, you're then going to talk to Elune and do the same with him. Okay, so now you're going to go to Glarial's Tome, which is kind of northwest of the Fishing Guild. Uh, you cannot bring any armor or weapons into here. Uh, as you can see, my godsword is dismantled. That's the only reason I'm allowed to bring it in. Um, and do not mess this up, because you'll lose some of your items, and you have to go back and get them all, and it's going to take a really long time. Uh, so just make sure you've got no armor or weapons on your person. Uh, the dismantled godsword can be brought. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to use Galerio's Pebble on that stone and then you'll be entered into the thing. Uh, you're basically, all you got to do is you got to go south, take the southern path, and you got to kill the closest moss giant to the tomb. Uh, as you can see, I built my AGS and I one hit him and then I dismantled it again. Uh, pick up what he dropped and return to Isolin. Okay, so at this point, once you're back at the clearing, talk to Eldun and she will enchant your Consecration Seed. Uh, for you, and now you're on to the last step of this quest, uh, which is to go to the Waterfall Dungeon. Uh, pretty much the best way to get here is to use a games necklace and go to the Barbarian Outpost and then kind of just run south. Uh, that's the best way to get there, and I'm just showing you really quickly in case you uh, didn't know how to get there. Um, and then basically what you gotta do... Uh, now at this point you're gonna take the raft down to the cove, you're gonna use your rope on that rock and swim to the rock, then you're gonna use that same rope on the tree and swim... sorry, and grapple down. And then with Glarial's amulet in your invent, you'll be allowed to enter. Uh, now, you're going to go the way I go, which is kind of westward. And uh, this is where that key comes in handy. You need that key to open that door. Now, if you don't have that key, uh, it's actually in the waterfall dungeon as well. So you can go and grab it uh, from the crate on the other side. But I'm going to assume you've already got that before the quest. Um, and basically what you got to do is you got to plant the seed in this little room at the back end of the waterfall dungeon. And that's essentially the quest. Now you just need to return to the clearing from the start of the quest. Okay, so back at the clearing, you're going to talk to Isolin, and she's going to let you choose whether you want a crystal shield or a crystal bow. What you choose is up to you. It's a level 70 mage shield or a level 70 bow. Take your pick, and congratulations, 
quest complete.